Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back up to the outpost. That black smoke that you were seeing, that was a big chunk of yellow pine that uh, had some hardened rosin on the outside. And uh, then I put a small chunk in there. And then prior to that was some dryer lint. Uh, just a couple of strikes got it going. And so that's a great fire starter. So this morning, the reason I'm down here building this fire is I have a great friend coming over, he and his wife and daughter, and also the pastor at the church. We are going to, I think, uh, smoke uh, some deer meat. And we're gonna make some deer tacos. And I think he said a pineapple upside down, or maybe cobbler or something like that. Uh, anyway, it's gonna be a fun day, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I just stopped and had a biscuit because I didn't want to eat too much uh, anticipating um, now he I think in a former life he was a chef um, because he talks a whole lot about his cooking skills so uh, today we're gonna find that out for sure but anyway no I'm sure it's gonna be great uh, but they're on their way they had texted me a while ago and said that they were getting close so yeah I, I'm excited hope you enjoy the video and again, my son and I, we always appreciate, you know, everybody that supports the channel, tuning in, those that uh, subscribers, be sure and get your name in because we do monthly giveaways. So if you're new to this channel, be sure and go to our monthly giveaways at the first of each month and make sure you are subscribed to enter. And we're trying to give away some great prizes, camp stoves, knives. Um, January last month, we gave away an ax. Um, we've given away a, a nice, very nice saw. Uh, next month we're going to be giving away a nice sleeping bag. So yeah, be sure and get your name in there uh, and you can use that gear in your outdoor adventures. I'm going to get the coffee on and I'm going to back up because this is kind of really getting warm. We've got company. Right here is Pastor Day. Uh, he's come to pray over the food that John's going to cook because we hope that it's as good as John says because like I said I think he was a chef in a former life um, but anyway yeah we're gonna have a good time this is his beautiful you getting married mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. um, she is gonna when October mm, May May. <laughs> May she's gonna be getting married in May so we wanna pray for her today her and her husband future husband yeah. um, but I'm looking, so we're not actually smoking the meat, right? No, we're not smoking it. We're just gonna, we're gonna grill it and try to get it to uh, medium, at least medium, not anything past that because it's venison. And uh, venison's very lean. It doesn't have a lot of fat in it, so you can overcook it and it gets tough and you'll think you're chewing on leather and we don't want that. If we can get it medium, it'll be nice and tender. So you heard it straight from the chef. We're gonna, um, we're gonna cook, cook it up and we're having deer tacos. My daughter actually made some salsa. You can see that right there. Let the camera focus on it. And then John brought the meat and I'm actually making some coffee right now. We're waiting for some more water to heat up. You like it? Mm -hmm. it's it really good? good. Yeah, it's really good. Does it beat Starbucks? Yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> you said good, that'd be six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you all, you know, I told you, you can, if you're interested, you can find this online, check it out. It, it, it's not cheap, but it is good. Of course, if you just drink coffee to be drinking coffee, I wouldn't advise getting any of it because it would be too expensive. But if you just, like me, one or two cups a day, then, you know, you like for it to be good. <laughs> Testing one, two, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, let's do this again. Um, he said that he was going to make us a dessert, which is a what? It's a Dutch oven pineapple upside down cake. Okay. Um, which I had actually forgot about that, but anyway, that really sounds good. So, um, if you guys, once we get all this cooked up and start eating, if you find yourself, uh, frothing at the mouth there, be sure and drop us a line down in the video section, in the comment section, or you can send us a, uh, little email on the website. Uh, if you'd like to see him come up here, we were talking that he likes to smoke um, different kinds of meat. He's uh, the EMS coordinator um, at one of the local colleges. And uh, I remember being in class with him. We were talking about 
uh, smoking baloney for one holiday. We were all going to get together, the guys that were in the class, paramedic class, and uh, that never happened. So it did happen. Yeah, I, I, I smoked it at the house, and it was really good. And yeah. I thought about you when I was eating it. Eating it. Yeah. <laughs> it was really. So good. he met to tell us that he was just going to smoke it at the house. He wasn't. You didn't invite anybody else. No, just family. Okay. Not friends. So, if y'all would like to see him come up <laughs> and smoke some uh, meat and uh, bring some more laughs his way, okay, he's famous for that too, um, leave us some comments in the section down there. So, anyway, let me check this water. So, what we've got is one deer tenderloin, one venison tenderloin, uh, compliments of my son Nick. And uh, I keep it pretty simple. I like just like Worcestershire sauce and just leave it soaking in that with some salt. Uh, but I've dried it off after taking it out. And what I'm getting ready to do now is just pour a little bit of uh, olive oil on it. Uh, and the reason I do that is because I'm going to actually sprinkle it with some seasonings. And this olive oil actually helps keep that on there. Just rub that in real quick. Venison is usually really uh, dark as far as color goes. It's maroon in color. That's good. Uh, venison is very lean, not a lot of fat, so you have to be careful when you cook it, especially on the grill, uh, that you don't dry it out. Uh, a lot of people like to wrap it in bacon, which we can do, but over a fire like this, the drippings from the bacon fat would just cause our fire to get out of control. So sometimes you can go fancy and sometimes you can go simple, and I'm just using a fajita seasoning mix that you're supposed to actually stir in water. But what we're going to do is just kind of lightly coat this and rub it in. And this is going to be pretty good over the grill. Just making like a dry rub on it and then grilling it that way. A lot of different ways to do this. It's, it's your meal. You fix it the way you want it. Everybody's palate's different in taste. And I never do anything the same way twice because uh, I like to see what different flavors we can get out of different spices and different seasonings. Sometimes you win and sometimes you're like, uh, we'll definitely not do that again. But usually you know when you've got a winner by what everybody else is saying when they're eating the food after it's been fixed. And that's, hopefully today we'll have a winner. That's why we invited the pastor to pray over it so in case he messed up. <laughs> but we'll let him eat first and we'll wait 30 minutes. There you go. <laughs> kind of like swimming after you eat. You know, you don't get in until after 30 minutes and we'll see if he has any reactions to it. Uh, I don't have any Benadryl with me. Did you bring any Benadryl? No. All right. So I've still got a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more on here. Don't want to waste it. But So we're going to throw this on this uh, grill over coals, hot coals. Hopefully it'll cook fairly slowly. We want to get it to medium. Again, it's so lean. You just don't want to overcook it. And while that's cooking, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and start cutting our vegetables up. That way they'll be ready. Anytime you cook meat like that, it's always good. Like a steak or a ribeye or a sirloin or anything like that. It's always good to wrap it in foil or put it in a Ziploc container and just let it set for 10 to 15 minutes. It'll stay hot, but it keeps all those juices inside. And that way when you're cutting your steak, uh, it's good and juicy, good and tender. If you pull it right off the, right off the grill and start cutting, it's gonna be tough. If I'd lived back in the Western days, I would have been cookie, you know, the guy that cooked for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> of course, after a while, you'd think you'd get tired of beans. I didn't bring my, I mean, I got a knife where I'll go through pretty quick, but I didn't bring it with me. I thought I'd bring this when it looks more rustic. rustic. Yeah, absolutely. You got to do it right at the outpost. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's considered a backstrap or a tenderloin? Yeah, and then there's other tenderloins. There's a pair of tenderloin that runs on the inside of the carcass. And uh, a lot of people don't even realize those are there. And uh, 
they're small medallions. Those are mussels that really never get used, so they're super tender. Um, but that's not what we have today. This is just the back straps. They usually have some silver skin on top of them. You certainly, if you've never done this before and it's got silver skin on it, you want to pull that off, and it's pretty, pretty easy to see. It's silver. Uh, just peel that stuff off, or you're going to be chewing for a long time. So you just marinated it overnight? Actually, I didn't marinate it till this morning. I set it out last night and let it thaw. And uh, meat is the only, like beef is really the only meat that you can let get to room temperature. But uh, I know a lot of chefs and a lot of cooks, they'll, steaks and stuff like that, roast, they'll let it get to room temperature. Especially if you're going to grill something. So I, this really got to room temperature. And then I put it in a Ziploc bag with um, Worcestershire sauce this morning. And that's usually how I fix my steaks. Um, and just kept turning it back and forth about every 30 minutes or an hour. And uh, I don't know why, I just think it gives the meat a good flavor. And I usually use for steaks uh, onion salt, garlic salt, powder salt, and seasoned salt. That's the four salts that I'll put in that liquid. And uh, steaks I'll soak for 12 hours, 24 hours. Um, and a lot of times they're like dark. They look like they've already been cooked, you know. They're really good really good what is a good kind of meat to smoke that, that you think I, I'll tell you my the thing that I smoke that I have requests for mm -hmm. if I ever have requests for something is a smoked meatloaf oh yeah you did mention that before that yeah. does sound good it's uh, it doesn't take long uh, the Burger takes on a lot of smoke, so you have a really thick smoke ring. Uh, it's not something that you just go to a barbecue joint and find that they've got smoked meatloaf. Uh, but it's really good, and it's easy to do. And it, you know, three hours, and it's done. Uh, and it makes great sandwiches the next day. All right, so we got the meat wrap on this set. Get the vegetables going. And then we're almost home. Just sit right there. <clears throat> Too bad that camera doesn't have smell of vision. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you smell that on the camera there? <laughs> yeah, that smells really good. You always hope your avocados are. Yeah, pretty close. Awesome. Put the lime juice on that. I'll really put a little lime on there. So my son. Is that? Yeah, he's working right now, so he doesn't get to eat any of this. So. No matter what, I've got to make sure that we save enough to take to him because we wouldn't be doing this had he not killed this deer. We would have been frying bologna or something, I guess. Or frying eggs and bacon. <laughs> something a little different today. That's an outpost special right outpost there. Outpost special, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nick, we, want, we really appreciate um, that kill that uh, you sent up here, those uh, tenderloins. We're really going to enjoy that here shortly, so we want to give you a big shout out. We know that you're at work, can't be with us, but uh, we haven't forgot about you. He'll be here in the summer, hopefully. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of juices here. And that's what we want to see. I think that's going to be enough to get us started. We're going to take a wrap. We've got room for two down there. We're just going to throw those on the top of the grill and get them a little warm.
Well, I tell you folks, it doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, we're going to pray before we eat rock because we're about ready. Absolutely. Precious Father God, as we approach your throne this day, Lord, we just come to give you praise. Lord, as we're reminded of the bounty that you provide for us, Lord, in this time together as friends and uh, that we've met today, Lord, we just pray that you bless this food for the strength and nourishment of our bodies. Lord, we pray favor upon these families and these lives, Lord God, this this uh, new life, Lord God, as they're about to be married. Lord, I just pray that you'll continue to guide and direct our lives in all that we do as we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. No, it wasn't enough. And then the salsa. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you'll want that. I mean, it's hot, but it is good. It wouldn't take a lot. Am I just using my fingers? Yes. We're bushcrafting, right? That's right. I'm just making sure I don't want yeah. to offend anybody if I just went. We're in the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> Oh, wait. Hillbillies be like, what are forks? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what order I want to put everything on. I'm going to open this I'll go, up. Wait, how do I get this? Uh, with the tongs. Knox, I really appreciate your daughter making this homemade salsa, that is. Oh, well, that's all right. You got the top, you can see the smoke coming out got of it. Got a small <laughs> kick to it. <laughs> did, did you hear that, Jennifer? If the weather doesn't make your nose run, the <laughs> salsa will. <laughs> we got an atomic jar there to hold the salsa. Yeah, we want to watch you use your fingers. <laughs> I'll put it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, te I'm teasing. <laughs> There we go. I was going to say, look at her using her fingers. <laughs> I got it. I figured it out. How hot is Is it too hot, Dad? Do you think I would mind? Just it? a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just drizzle it. Okay. I got it. I promise you, you won't go home with a stuffy nose. <laughs> nope. I'm a little nervous. I'm only going to put a little bit. Thank you, sir. This is behind the scenes here. Oh, oh man. Hey, you got to get a close up of this. <laughs> that is good stuff. That is good. Hmm? Excellent. Brother? Excellent. Oh, man. I think these work better if you want these tongs. John, you've outdone yourself, buddy. Well, they, they turned out good. Oh, yeah. They cut a little bit more. Look at that, guys. It's just... Really didn't want any. It's, <laughs> it's, it's pink on the inside. Can you see that? I mean, that is done up right. That was, that's what we were shooting for. Just a little... A little bit of red right there in the center, a little pink warm center. It's a perfect. Little, a little bit of black on the outside. Man, that's so good. Yep. There's the atomic salsa right there, right beside it. Yay, yay, yay. So. Hey, yay, yay. I'm actually going to do mine. Hold that for you, then. Yeah. Don't be bashful. Uh, no, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna throw you. News. I'm gonna throw you one of these. Okay. I'm gonna throw you this one okay. here for you. All right. Thank you, sir. John, I don't believe I've ever tasted deer meat done that way. That's got to be the top so far. I've had it mixed with pork for like sausage, mm -hmm. but never had it like that before. Mm -hmm. Bam, son. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> yeah. So I've never done it old school like this. You know, most of the time it was just throwing the tender on a grill, gas grill, and then throwing difference? your wraps in the microwave. Total difference. What's the difference? Well, for one, throwing that wrap on there yeah. is going to taste different. Right. Then you throw the vegetables on there. They're sweet. And then you got that daggone 
liquid lightning that you put on there. <laughs> salsa. Well, what about the, the wood, the smoke? Oh yeah, yeah, for the deer meat. Yeah. yeah. Delicious, man. Awesome. It is good. Isn't that good? Darn it. I thought I did it. Yeah, can y'all see my hardwood floors? I mean, I've done it. I've done this place up right. No, no, one? I'm good. That's awesome. Knox, you gonna eat another one? Awesome. Because I can shave a little bit more off and still have enough for Nick. Yeah, I'm gonna shave a little bit more off. <laughs> <laughs> if Nick would kill a few more deer, it wouldn't matter, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Nick. <laughs> we'll blame this on Nick. So, do you see many deer up here? I've got an eight or point. Are you just too noisy? I've got an eight point, a big four, a monster four. I'm talking about the horns. Right. And a big, huge spike that's hanging around in this area. And they're passing that camera quite often down there. I've got a coyote. I've got some snares set out for him. I'm hoping to trap him. Well, I'll tan that hide. Yeah. And uh, use it and hang it up on my cabin when I get it done. Because he's nothing but a predator, and I don't want the fawns. You know, when they spring, it won't be long, they'll be sure. you know, having the fawns. I don't want him tracking them down and killing them. According to scripture, the oldest man that ever lived was Methuselah. And uh, he lived to be 936 years old. So I asked him, I said, if that is true, then why did he die before his dad? So it's something that you got to think about. How did he die before his dad, if he was the oldest man that ever lived? Well, he died because his dad was Enoch, and Scripture says that Enoch walked with God and was not. So he never seen death. So that's how he, the oldest man that ever lived, that's how he died before his dad. And so, um, what was it now you said? What I said, it? I asked you, do you know who the first paramedic was? And then you asked me, are you talking about from the Bible? Yeah. And then I kind of answered it for you, but yes, I was referring to the Bible. And I said it was God because in Genesis it says, and he breathed into man the breath of life. Right. And he brought him, he brought him life. And then I said, did you know the wise men were firefighters? And you looked at me like I'm crazy. And I said, <laughs> well, the Bible says, and they come from afar. So, in plain old East Tennessee language, coming from afar means it was hot. <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, right. you know they played baseball in the, in the Bible too, right? In the beginning. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the big inning. <laughs> there we go. Everything's better with butter. So what I'm going to do is, I've got actually two sticks of plant-based butter. So if you have issues with dairy or something like that, or, or you're vegan, vegetarian, plant-based butter is really good alternative. Then you, add the sugar, so you're... then you throw the good stuff in, which is the dark brown sugar. <laughs> the healthy sugar. Yeah, so you got to have a good balance. And take your handy dandy little spatula here. Just gonna mix all this up, make me a little slurry. Now the the good thing is the the cake batter is gonna soak all this up. He's in his own camera. Um, then you're just gonna take your pineapple and start lining it down here at the bottom, like such. Now you might ask, how much pineapple do I put in there? As much as you can eat. As much as as much as you can eat. So I've got the brown sugar, butter, pineapple, and then I like cherries. You know, a while ago when you're talking about the butter, what'd you call it? What, what was that commercial? Everything's better with everything on it. Yeah. Oh, look there. Huh. Hey. That's good luck. That means it's gonna be good. <laughs> All right. Spread that out a little bit. Um, motion around a little bit and then you know 
It's almost a sin. Yeah. Well, not really. See, so, it was for you because you ate two. I only ate one. So oh, that was gluttony on your right, part. That's oh. right. Um, I thought we're going to have to ask forgiveness before we eat some if of I this. Get, if I could get somebody saved, I could take this off my taxes. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. <laughs> Are you licking the bowl? No. I'm going to spread that around. This you going to pass the bowl around? No. <laughs> oh. I didn't bring enough spatulas for everybody. Now this is going to be ooey gooey. That's going to be good. Now, do you want me to let's pick that up and set that right in the coals? Uh, no, because that'd be too hot. It'll burn the okay. bottom of it. All right, that should be. Yeah, that's good. That. Set it and forget it. There we go, folks. Now I'm going to let that cook a little bit while I eat my second fajita. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did tell you I went into the egg business, didn't I? No. No? Yeah. I uh, come home the other day and Rhonda, my wife, had put a box up on the fireplace, just a small one. I said, what's in the box? She said, that's my box, just leave it alone. So I knew right then something was up. So I just left it alone. So I come home from work and she wasn't there, so, you know, curiosity killed the cat. So I checked out the box. It was two eggs and two one hundred dollar bills. Of course my curiosity is killing me. So she come home, so I had to spill the beans. I said, Honey, I looked in the box. She kinda of dropped her head. I said, What's what's with the eggs? She said, Well, every time you preach a bad sermon, I put an egg in a box. I went, Wow, two eggs? That's not that's not bad at all. Yeah. I said, well, what's the $200? She said, every time I get a dozen, I sell them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I think we can eat, boys. Okay. There we go. Take a look at it before it's destroyed. Yeah. You like those hardwood floors in the bushcraft camp? Yes. Mm -hmm. I would have put linoleum. Linoleum? <laughs> <laughs> Tile would have been nice. It's, it's for setting Dutch ovens on. Yeah. <laughs> Smells good. Woo! Yotter. Let's Thank see you. what that looks like there, brother. Oh yeah, that looks good, folks. Now typically we'd flip it upside down, but we're we're not flipping anything upside <laughs> down. You get to see what's on the bottom. Okay. But you'll get to taste it. Thank you, John. Uh, wait a minute, hold on one second. Mr. Pineapple. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes like pineapple. Thanks. How does it taste? It is good. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I told my brother, I said, this is almost like a sin that we were going to have to repent after we eat this. If you're feeling guilty, I'll eat yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We've ate good today, haven't we? Yes, sir. We've had to wait for it. Both of them, yeah, are absolutely outstanding. The wait is worth it. Did you get it hung up there, John? No, I got it now. I just really didn't want to touch it. Well, that ought to keep it warm till you get it home, right? Oh, yeah, I'm in that cardboard box. We'll smell it all the way home. <laughs> We're deciding whether or not, uh, I, was, I was just saying that. Um, I don't know about you all, just watch this uh, little video on the, the deer steak, and or tenderloin actually, and the pineapple upside down cake done in the Dutch oven. You think we should let John back over in this neck of the woods? He's from up north, north Tennessee, northeast right. Tennessee. 
it's still up in the air. I think after you know at least three or four more meals, we could probably make a better decision. I think so, you know, because yeah. um, we don't know what else he can cook up that's really good. Yeah. So the more we taste the the like you said, the better off we can form a decision. We don't so, want to rush anything. No, we we don't. So uh, no, nah, man, it was awesome. <laughs> it was. It was really good. Um, I never had deer. It was done up like that. No, it was good stuff. Yeah, it didn't even taste like deer, did it? No. Um, and the pineapple. Phew, I tell you what, my hair stood up. It was so sweet. Of course, I ain't got much. The hair in the back of my head stood up. <laughs> <laughs> look! 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 I've got, got him grinning there. <laughs> Oh, so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> John and I, we've been friends for several years. We actually went to undergraduate school together. He was my paramedic instructor at the college. Um, great guy. He hasn't seen the uh, introduction to this video where I kind of said a whole lot of things about his good character and, and things like that. But anyway, I'm sure that... Uh, I didn't say anything that wasn't was not true but uh, this is the first time that he's been over here in this neck of the woods um, with me anyway and uh, so what do you think about Cosby what do you think about this little project that I got going on here and uh, you think you might want to come back oh yeah I, I know you're not supposed to envy someone else but you've got a good thing going on over here uh, I appreciate you letting me come over here and uh, with my family and minus my son since he's working and uh, break bread together and uh, tell a few jokes and cut up and have a good time uh, and I'm glad I can call you a friend so I certainly appreciate you letting me come over here and meet the pastor as well and, and spend some time with him so yes. certainly want to come back so um, on that video where I came down here and I kind of redid the shelter I mentioned some things about him so um, we've done a lot of teasing and joking back and forth, but I guess you all can see from this video that uh, he's everything that I, I had mentioned. And um, I want to thank you a whole lot for coming over here. That was probably the best deer, honestly, um, that I have ever had in my life. And I've had different kinds of it fixed different ways, but um, it didn't even taste like deer meat. Um, was not gamey in the least. Um, actually tasted like really good... Uh, tenderloin some sort of tenderloin steak actually. well it is corn fed well <laughs> okay <laughs> on a farm uh, right on a farm on a farm yeah literally the deer sneak sneak in at night and eat the eat the... yeah we it was a it was a slow year for uh corn production at the house this year because they were wearing it out okay um but yeah his son Again, thank you so much, Nick. If it hadn't have been for you, we wouldn't have been having those uh, fajitas. And um, whose idea was it on the pineapple upside down? Kid? Was that yours? That was mine. Okay. Oh, God. Well, good call. <laughs> oh my! Stand up here a second. Come here, Come here a second. So, tell us a little bit about your dad. <laughs> Well, he loves the camera. <laughs> that's about it. All right, that's good. <laughs> Just the way he wrote it. Oh my gosh. Well, um, so if you think you might want to come back, what's your idea? Oh, we're going to do the meatloaf, right? Yes, uh, sometime in the maybe late spring, maybe okay. before it gets too hot. Um, We'll do. Uh, we'll smoke a meatloaf and make some uh, homemade cowboy beans, and uh, maybe some biscuits in the Dutch oven. Okay, smoking a meatloaf, and I can't even imagine. Um, I mean, it sounds good, but I can't even imagine what it would be like. If there's anything like that deer meat, I imagine it would be great. It's so fantastic. I got to be careful not to give out my address because all these <laughs> folks would probably show up at my driveway if they watch this video and seen all that we just ate. Well, let's hope they do. Yeah. 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 Appreciate you all watching. Um, this stuff was really good, and I hope we didn't make you too hungry. Um, but you did, I guess, watch him make it, so if you want to make it yourself, um, be sure and let me know when you're going to do that so I can come over. Um, but, yeah, it was really great. 
and we appreciate uh, all y'all coming up here brother and um, we just want to thank you for watching everyone take care be safe and we all look forward to seeing you up here at the outpost, the outpost. In, the, in the future <laughs>